Hello. I don't know if this is going to work because there's strong sunshine up there. I'll give it a go. I've been asked um, by one or two people to give an update on Mr. Wibbly Wobbly. Now the last update I did, I checked it, we'd got up to, I'd been transferred from a private consultant to the NHS uh, and I'd had two brain scans done and that's that's where I was at so no longer a private patient under the NHS uh, by the way if you think the NHS is wonderful and can't do anything wrong you probably should switch off now it's not all it's not all doom and gloom and I say to anybody if you've had a good service off the NHS well done you but don't assume that everybody is because I'm certainly not so I'd had two scans done um, and th this was at the time when we wanted to go on the, the cruise when I did the last update so I rang the NHS secretary and said um, I want to go away but I I'm expecting there to be the next step whatever that may be arriving in the post uh, and I don't want to miss it so she very kindly said well what I'll do I'll be typing the letters up I'll ring you if there's anything that needs any action so I thought that's great so we can go away for a couple of weeks and forget about it so when we got back still hadn't heard anything and then one day I don't know I can't remember where we where we were we're in, nearly in the middle of November now um, I had an email with the results of the scan, if you can call it that. Now, Dr. Mann was my neurologist. He, he wears two hats, private NHS. No longer seen him under the, uh, privately under the NHS. So... I had an email off his secretary that does his private work with a, literally two lines saying uh, I've had the results of your scans and hey guess what I was right you've got Parkinson's disease basically just patting himself on the back and uh, I hope you're getting on alright with the treatment I know what you're all thinking yeah oh we didn't know you were on treatment well I'm not so I rang his NHS secretary and said about these results and she said no they've not come through yet I said well somebody's got them <laughs> because I've had an email off Dawn who does his private work for him so can you tell me what's going on so she said oh I'll give her a ring and I'll get back to you nothing so I waited a few hours and later that afternoon I sent an email to Dawn. I tried ringing her but she didn't answer her phone. And basically I said, listen, th there are three people involved in this scenario. There's my GP, there's Dr. Mann, brackets, private, and Dr. Mann, brackets, NHS. And I would appreciate it if, they, if one of them would take the initiate, initiative and create a coordinated response well two minutes later I get a phone call off Dr. Mann and he said is there a problem and I said well I'm a bit concerned that you're asking me if there's a problem yes there is a problem there's several problems what treatment because the last medication that he gave me made me forget who I was and it, it, it said in, in the over 60s it causes, mem causes memory loss and confusion yeah it can do that I said well I haven't seen you I've told my GP he knows that I've stopped taking it but you don't because you're not speaking to each other and I said why have I had a letter 
from your secretary that does your private work for you because I'm no longer seeing you privately. And get this folks, he said, it's quicker that way. It takes forever on the NHS. You heard it here folks. So I said, well, what's the next step? Because this sounds like a thank you and goodbye letter. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, the last time I saw you, you talked about brain surgery. And you even put in your letter that these scans would be required should I decide to go down the road of surgery. And he said, well, that would have, that would have been the next stage. And I said, how was that going to work? Because I've spoken to your secretary at the NHS, who, who I'm now supposed to be treated by, and she told me she's not made any appointments for you this year and she's no intentions of making any appointments for the rest of the year. God knows what the pair of you are doing. But it is a good one. He's not seen anybody at the NHS, not even if I turned up in a space suit. But when I paid him privately, we met in a small room and he said, how do you feel about masks? This is, this is February, just gone, high to the pandemic. I said, well, I'll follow your lead. Off comes the mask. So fork out your money. They'll see you. They're not worried about spreading infection. But on NHS, not even if I'm wearing a spacesuit, will he see me? So I said, well, how is this next step going to come about? Because you, you've not alluded to any, any further action in your letter. And your secretary's not making any appointments. And he said, well, do you want brain surgery? I said, I'm free tomorrow. He said, well, it's not that easy. I said, I know I was being sarcastic, but it's got to start somewhere. And you, you wrap things up. So he said, well, I'll make you a referral. It'll either have to be done in Manchester or Liverpool because that's where the, that's, they, they've got the drill, apparently, that drills into your head. So I said, fair enough. So a, a, a couple of weeks went by and I, 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 I accessed my medical records online. I don't know if anyone, patient access, because I'm on repeat medication and I can order it online and don't have to go through this faff of ringing up and ordering it. But all, well, most of your records are all, all done on file. So 30th of September, a letter had been put on. I thought, oh. So I opened it and it, and it was a referral letter to the Royal Salford Hospital. And it was about the 14th of October, I think, then. And that, bearing in mind, this has been done by his NHS. I don't blame you if you can't follow it, because I can't follow it. This is his NHS secretary. Please, can you have a look at this bloke's head, see if it's worth salvaging. And she'd copied in my old GP, the one who thinks that there's nothing wrong with me and I just need counselling. So I rang her up, got a recorded message, I'm out of the office for 10 days. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> She's been so busy all year not making appointments or typing up reports, she needed to rest. So I thought, well, what do I do now? Because I don't want Salford getting in touch with my old GP, who, who I actually did curse and swear violently at and would stand up in court and say it was justified I didn't want them getting the referral from Royal Salford Hospital so I thought I know what I'll do I'll ring the Royal Salford Hospital and I asked to be put through to the secretary of the I don't know can't remember the name of the bloke and she said no not got it and I said, what do you mean you've not got it? It's, it, it's the 14th of October and it was sent on the 7th, uh, 30th of September. What I'm saying is, she said, I'm not saying it's not here in the hospital somewhere, but it's not on the system. Make of that what you will. I said, but, the, but there's a crucial error. 
Now, I, I would have thought a helpful person would have said, oh, give me your details, because I, I needed to tell them that they were, they'd be, they were going to be in contact with a GP who, who can't stand the sight of me and I can't stand the sight of him. A, a sensible person would have said, I'll take your details, and when that comes up on the system, I'll notice, I'll, I'll amend it and send it to the right GP. No, instead she said, it's not here. And I said, but there's something I need to tell you that's wrong about it. Well, if it's not here, I can't do anything about it. Anyway, she had short shrift and I hung up on her as well, because I've got no time for incompetent people. And that's where we're at, I'm afraid. Surgery has been suggested. Medica medication has been ruled out because it doesn't work. Uh, if you want to see a neurologist under an 80 quid for 10 minutes, he'll see you. Probably walk around naked if he asked him to. But they won't see you in a spacesuit if, if the NHS. So, so that's the update, I'm afraid, folks. It's not a pretty story. If you're a great fan of the NHS, fantastic for you. Get on with it. But they've not been much use to me. So that's where we're at. If, if I, I have been asked for an update. <laughs> I don't wrap things up. If anybody's ever seen our videos, they know I don't wrap things up. But we're just we're sitting we're sitting out a storm at the moment. Well, it's a storm. We only do fair weather boating. We've we've only come away for a couple of days, but we we we've got a fire going and we're in a nice location. I'll I'll update you next time. There's something to report. How'd you stop this thing?